Uh, good morning. This reflection is that I'll be reading is called Hope in Difficult Times, written by Samuel Mills. Even if you reach what you consider to be the lowest point, God's word says he'll never leave you or forsake you. You can read that in Matthew 28, verse 20. He'll give you peace and comfort even in the worst circumstances, then lead you through over and or around the muck and mire of your situation. Again, set your feet on solid ground. Our God is a God of new beginnings. With him, nothing is impossible. Whether you are very young or considered to be very old, trust in him because with him, it is always just the beginning. You may even find yourself in such a situation through divorce, death of a spouse, loss of health, loss of finances, whatever that may force you to begin all over again. Trusting God in difficult times forces us to seek his guidance and to trust in him. Trusting God through these uncharted waters takes faith and courage. The path of his choosing is the only one that leads to true happiness. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. A shining example of living with hope is Viktor Frankl, a former prisoner in a Nazi prison camp. As a long-time prisoner in this concentration camp, Viktor found himself strict to naked existence. His father, mother, brother and his wife died in camps or were sent to gas ovens so that expecting for his accepting for his sister his entire family perished in these camps how could he every possession lost every value destroyed suffer from hunger cold and brutality hourly expecting extermination himself how could he find life worth preserving in one of your darkest moments while digging in a cold, icy trench, he writes these words. In a last moment protest against the hopelessness of imminent death, I sensed my spirit piercing through the enveloping gloom. I felt it transcend that hopeless, meaningless world. And from somewhere I heard a victorious yes in answer to my question of the existence of an ultimate purpose. At that moment, a light was lit in a distant farmhouse, which stood on the horizon as if painted there. In the midst of the miserable grey of a dawning morning in Bavaria, that light shineth in the darkness. Well, we all go through difficult times, don't we? Situations which we find we can't solve ourselves. It's hope in these times that gets us through. So no matter what you're going through today, recognise that the God that we worship is with us. He will help us. We God places each of us underneath his everlasting wings. So find peace today in the God that loves you, cares for you, and will never let you go. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.